I'm going to teach you a little bit about React.js. But before we start, we need a code editor. I recommend you go to code.visualstudio.com and download this particular code editor, which we call VS Code. It's available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. And if you want an in-depth guide to how to use this editor, I have a course on it at vscode.pro. Now that I have installed this code editor, I want you to go to this icon called Extensions and search for Live Server. You will see this extension from Ritwick Day. Go ahead and install this extension, which is going to help us code our website. So I'm going to record this course in form of different lessons. And since this is the first lesson, I'm going to place all of my files in the folder called 01. I'm going to create an index.html file. OK. Now when I type the bank sign and press the tab, it prints out a basic structure for an HTML document. This is what our website is going to look like. Press tab, tab, and learn React.js with OS. OK. And here is the body tag. How about we go ahead and add hashtag root, and then press tab. This will add a diff to our body with an ID root. Now that you have installed that live server extension, if you look at the bottom here, you, sh you should see this go live icon. And if I click this icon, it is going to set up a server for me for this particular website and open it up here. If I inspect the code for this page, there you go. This is the header, just like here, the body with an ID root. You can basically ignore this script, which was injected by the live server extension that we are using here. I'm going to add a script tag. Let's call it main.js. And it will have a type of JavaScript. And let's close this thing. I'm going to click to the sidebar, and I'm going to create this file called main.js. I'm also going to open this readme, and let's preview it right here. I'm going to close the sidebar and this file, and here we are. So there are a couple of things that I want you to know beforehand. First of all, the document. The document interface kind of represents this entire web page. The very basic definition for a document would be uh, that it has all the elements that make up a web page. And then there is a document object model. It is sort of an API, which has all of these elements but it connects these elements to a programming language, which in our case is going to be JavaScript. So at a very high level, a document object model is a way to connect all of these elements to JavaScript. So how about we go ahead and create an element inside the root here? I'm going to just close this one. OK, for that, I'm going to open this main.js file. We are going to do a couple of things here. First of all, what we need First of all, what we need is to access this root element inside our DOM. So access the root. And then what we are going to do is we are going to append a heading with an h1 tag to it. So the second one would be append a heading to the root element. So there you go. So first one, so I'm going to create a constant called root which will access the document through the query selector function, which allows us to select any of the elements inside a DOM, provided we give it a string, which is a valid CSS. And in CSS, to target an ID, what we need is a hashtag sign in the name of that ID. So now that I have selected this particular root element, what I can do is I can go ahead and start doing stuff to this particular element. And by stuff, I mean I'm going to append a heading. So what would that append look like? I'm going to use this root constant here. And then I'm going to append a child. And that child would be called heading. But wait a minute. We haven't created this heading just yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Const heading document. Create element. So what we are going to do is we are going to actually create this heading 
using the create element function. And that would be in h1, right? And inside this heading, the text content should look like, um, let's say, learn React with aware. And now I press save, and this live server instantly reloaded our page, and there you go. There's the heading we were looking for. And if you take a look at the DOM here, you can see that we have this H1 heading right here, appended as a child of our root element. Let me just go over what just happened. So we created a document, a web page, and inside there, we connected it through this tag to a main.js file. The main.js file actually exists in the same folder. So the path is main.js. If it would have been in another folder, we would have defined it as a path here, for example, assets, and then main.js or something. And then we went ahead inside the main.js and we selected this particular root element. We use the document API and the query selector function to provide a valid CSS hashtag root. And now we had the access to root, the root element in our DOM. Then we created an H1 element through the create element function and put it in the heading inside our memory. And then in the heading, we created its text content, which is now equal to learn react with the best. And now we use the root dot append child function to append this heading inside of this root element. As you can see here, this H1 is appended inside of this root element. You can go completely crazy here, you know, and add anything and it will just be updated here. I think I forgot to save it. There you go. Important to save your web projects, right? That's pretty much about it. Now you know how to create a simple web page, how to select a particular element inside that web page and append a child to that particular element.